I talked about the Mahoning River in Eagle Creek, but if you live in Wellsville or East Liverpool, you may be wondering about the Ohio River. Right now, uh, the river is rising with all this melt in water heading in that direction, even out of the Mahoning River, which does drain eventually uh, into the Ohio River. Uh, but it is currently forecast to stay under flood stage. So it'll be close as we head into the weekend and early next week. Uh, but right now, uh, that's uh, the process for the Ohio River. Look at the clearing skies, though out on the horizon. Uh, not a bad evening overall. Uh, had a few clouds around throwing some flurries, but that was about it. Uh, those have now moved out. Temperature at 24 degrees uh, currently down on the river, but it does get colder uh, the further north you go. Already dropping into the teens across Columbiana County from Guilford Lake to Salem. 18 in Canfield right now. 17 in Mercer. I do look for temperatures to drop this evening and then start to climb. I also expect the wind to start to pick up later tonight and especially uh, by tomorrow morning. Now, I want to emphasize this because by 6 and 7 o'clock in the morning, there's going to be a blast of snow moving through here with these gusty winds that will help uh, reduce visibility as a snow squall tries to drop on through here to start your Saturday morning. So if you have plans to travel early tomorrow, keep that in mind. Uh, the gusty wind is going to stick around through the day tomorrow as temperatures turn colder right on into the afternoon. And of course, that is going to drive down the wind chill temperatures. So tonight, these are in the lower teens. Uh, temperatures won't be all that frigid overnight. But as that wind picks up into tomorrow morning and the Arctic cold front comes through here, we'll start dropping those wind chills close to zero or below into tomorrow afternoon. Very cold and blustery Saturday uh, setting up for us. So that's the way it plays out with the temperatures. Let's talk about the precipitation. Uh, the Arctic cold front still west of Chicago, but moving our way, it'll march through here first thing in the morning. Uh, this evening, not expecting much more than a flurry up in the northern snow belt, and even at that, uh, the clouds are trying to clear out. So catching the break before that next storm system moves in, a pretty quiet evening expected here at home. Here's future tracker for the rest of tonight. Again, these temperatures take a quick dip early, then they start to climb into tomorrow morning. Here comes that chance of snow, four or five o'clock in the morning from northwest to the southeast. Uh, watch this line of blue, though. This is 7 o'clock, northwestern Trumbull County. This is the one that will cause near whiteout conditions as it drops on through here early tomorrow morning and quickly uh, reducing visibility and laying down a, a coating of snow up to an inch, possibly higher as that blasts on through. Then our temperatures just turn colder uh, through the day with a chance of a snow shower or flurry, especially up across the northern snow belt through uh, tomorrow evening. And finally, our weather calms down tomorrow night into Sunday morning, but it, it will be a cold start, uh, but a sunny Sunday expected, and that'll help push our temperatures out of the 30s on into the lower 40s by the afternoon. Uh, tonight, 18 early and climbing. Uh, small chance of a flurry this evening, but even those are dwindling. That chance of snow increases toward morning. Travel plans first thing tomorrow morning could be tricky and slippery with some blowing snow and then falling temperatures expected through the day. A pretty quiet Sunday, low to mid 40s. Monday, even warmer with a few more clouds. More on Tuesday, but rain builds in and then we start turning colder on Wednesday. That'll mix some rain showers back to snow showers. We catch a break, but colder Thursday and then Friday, a wintry mix. We'll get a little of everything. The chance of freezing rain, sleet and snow expected to wrap up next week.